Well, welcome back to the last day. Welcome back. Why am I the way that I am? I don't understand it. Huh? So welcome to the final day of 2018. It's been a phenomenal year for games, but tomorrow we kick off a new year and a new month for games as well. So today I thought I'd talk about the best five games, the five biggest games coming out in January. Hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and I hope you have a fantastic new year tonight. And you kick off New Year and stuff. Hopefully, you have someone to kiss at midnight. I mean, I've got, I've got a whole host of options. <laughs> so yeah, this isn't going to be my five most anticipated games of the month. This is going to be like the five biggest games of the month. The five games that I think are the biggest coming out this month. And uh, yeah, we're not going to do it in any order or anything like that. It's just going to be the games that are coming out first. I'll talk about that first, and then we'll go on to the games that are coming on out later in the month. As you can see. In the camera, my dog is biting my arm, so it's not really easy to think and talk while I'm getting my uh, arm ripped off by a baby wolf. So, yeah. No, i just trying to fucking record a video, man. Come on. So, kicking off the list. Oh, changing the angle. Did that creep you out? Sorry. Okay, so starting off uh, the list is Vane. This is a game that's been in development for quite some time. It got announced like five odd years ago, and it's been threatening to come out since... But it's finally coming out, January 15th, 2019. So this is when the games start rolling in. They're all kind of later in the month, the big games are coming out. So yeah, Vayne is not really a, a huge title, but I think there is some, some anticipation there. And I, this is probably one of the ones that I am very excited for this month. There's not a lot of games coming out in January that I'm genuinely excited for, but this is definitely one of them. It has that kind of journey meets the last guardian slash shadow of the Colossus vibe to it. You play as a bird, at the start and you kind of transform into a human as well so you kind of switch between the two it looks like a beautiful dark world from the gameplay i've seen i love these kind of experience these kind of games like the last guardian shadow of the colossus journey i know it's not going to be the exact same as these but it does kind of have that vibe to it as i said so definitely personally a game that i'm very excited about it's been a long time in development so hopefully that the long development cycle means a quality game so yeah hopefully we kick off 2019 with a great experience this is as i said like the first big game of 2019 So game number two, the second game that we're talking about today, actually comes out on the same day as Bane. It's not really like a full game, but it's one of the episodes of the game, and that's The Walking Dead, the final season. The third episode is coming out on January 15th as well. So we are actually going to get to see Clementine's ending. So this is actually one that I thought might not happen, but thanks to Skybound Games, we're going to be getting the final season in full. We're going to be able to see the end of Clementine's story. And what a story it has been. So I actually haven't played episode 2 of the final season yet. And that was because I wasn't sure if there was going to be any point of playing it. Because we didn't know if the game was going to be completed. We didn't know whether that was going to be the last episode or not. So I didn't know if there was any point in like playing episode 2. If it was going to be the last episode and there wasn't going to be any conclusion. But now that we know there is going to be a final conclusion. There is going to be the last 3 episodes. Then now I'm more inclined to play it. I'm probably going to play episode 2 before I jump back in and play episode three, and then I'll wait for the final two episodes to come out and, and play them as well. So yeah, I'm excited to play episode two and then uh, jump into episode three on January 15th, same day as Vane. This is so fucked. That is just fucked. So January 24th, we get another episodic entry, and that is Life is Strange 2, Episode 2. So uh, Captain Spirit returns here in Episode number 2, and there was obviously that little side game called The Adventures of Captain Spirit. Now, I'm going to be bluntly honest with you guys. I didn't really care for Captain Spirit, and after playing the first episode of Life is Strange 2... I really have no interest in the game anymore. <laughs> so politically cringy, man. It like, if you have, if you make a game political, the writing has to be good. 
and it has to be like subtle and good I, I, but the writing is just so terrible and it's so bluntly obvious that they're trying to push an agenda within this game as well like to be honest i really don't mind politics in games like as long as it's good writing and yeah the first game i had no issue with anything in the first game i actually really enjoyed the first life is strange but this second one it just seems to be like so painfully obvious with comments like this go please you're the reason we need to build that wall you hold tight and also like this so you're like all political everything is political sean I fucking hate that line. I just want to tell you guys. I fucking hate that line. I don't know. If that's not just cringy SJW shit, I don't know what is, man. It's just so cringy. That was the... Like, I don't use the word cringy a lot because I actually don't like it, but that is just the definition of cringy. I feel like people overuse that word way too much. Like, when a guy is talking to a girl, they're like, oh, that's so cringe. Or, like, they call everything cringy, but this is the genuine definition of it. It's so weird and cringy. As I said, I really did like the first game, so I was like bitterly disappointed to be honest. I thought that Life is Strange 2 was going to be really good, but I don't know, it's just, it's pushed me away big time. So one day after Life is Strange 2 Episode 2, we've got the Resident Evil 2 Remake, and this is definitely the one that I'm most excited for this month. If you didn't know when it comes to horror games on the channel, I'm a little bitch. Here's a couple of examples. Jesus, Matt, you piece of shit. Where do I go? So yeah, January 25th, a remake of the old classic survival horror game. Uh, I've never played it before, as I said, so I'm really, really excited to jump in and check it out for the first time. And scream like a little bitch. I'll have face cam and I'll be doing a series for sure. So yeah, if you want to come and watch me scream like a little bitch, make sure to tune into the series. But yeah, Resident Evil 7 was actually the first Resident Evil I played, and I really did enjoy it. And people say Resident Evil 2 is the best one, so I'm definitely excited to, uh, to try it out and form my own opinion. <laughs> so the final game that we're going to talk about today is Kingdom Hearts 3. This game was actually announced back in 1938. And it's actually finally going to come out, January 29th, 2019. So yeah, it's been in development for about 81 years, give or take. Now, obviously, I'm just kidding there, guys. But honestly, if you do play this game, you're a complete weeb. I don't like you. I've lost all respect for you as a human being. And uh, yeah, that's about pretty much it. Obviously, I'm joking there, guys. Come on. It's not my kind of game. I don't really care for these kind of games. I've never played Kingdom Hearts before, so it's not one that interests me personally. But I know there is a lot of hype behind this because it has been a long time coming. And this is the, uh, the climax to the series, which I know a lot of people love. So hopefully you guys that do play it really enjoy it when it comes out on January 29th. As for me, I obviously said it's, it's not my thing, so... I'll probably still be playing Resident Evil 2, but for the people that are playing Kingdom Hearts 3, let me know how it is, and uh, let me let me know what you think. I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe it lives up to the hype after all these years. I would find it quite incredibly hard for that game to live up to the hype that has been set for it, but it's going to be a high bar, but who knows, maybe they can, maybe they can do it. Spoiler, they can't. It sucks. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, guys, come on. I'm not allowed to make jokes here, it's my own channel. Fucking weebs. I'm just kidding, guys. I've got love for all of my scriber... Scribers? I meant to say subscribers. I was going to say I've got love for all of my subscribers, even the ones that are mentally ill and like to play Kingdom Hearts. But that would have been a step too far, honestly, so that's why I didn't say that. And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm kidding, of course. Obviously, Kingdom Hearts is a, is a great franchise for, for little kids and uh, weebs. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Guys, please don't take any of that Kingdom Hearts stuff seriously. I'm, I'm just joking, obviously. And as you can see, we're approaching 70,000 subscribers here. This is one of the presents I got for, from Chris, for Christmas from my dad. Uh, it's kind of a digital clock, and I can get my subscriber count up there. I really wanted this, so I'm quite happy with that. As you can see, the Apex sound, 69,903. We're approaching 70,000, so let's kick the year off right and hit 70,000 within the first few days of 2019. I hope you enjoyed the video overall. It was a new, different kind of style. Uh, I know it's kind of just like a, 
a video talking about the best games coming out this month. And I'll continue to do this, I think, the day before uh, February, the day before March, the day before April. Um, so I'll make this into a monthly thing for the year and see how it goes, see what you guys think. Because I think it could be a cool addition. And this is kind of the style that my news show would be in as well. So if you're interested in that, make sure to drop a like on this video. Let me know if you like the style. And uh, we can either do like a news video like in this style or else like a podcast. I don't know. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>